Whoa! Oh! Today's a special day at Dirty Little Mongrels. For any of you sad, depraved animals that never had the pleasure of getting into Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm gonna show you the one thing that you've missed out on your entire life. It's not the look of the cards, it's not actually playing the game. You know what it is? It's the smell of the cards. I don't know how to explain the smell, but it's one of the best sniffs I've ever smelt. Oh! Uh, anyway, what's the point of this video? Oh yeah. What's up guys? Den Den BMX here, and you all should be well acquainted by now with my custom white replicant. I bought this thing that was already kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of different replicant parts. I don't even think it's made out of a single stock replicant part. Um, it's got white G10 hammer scales, got anodized titanium liners, and when I got it, I had a pretty crappy OSP trainer blade on it, but I ended up throwing on this hourglass kukri blade onto it, which is something I'd always wanted to do, and this blade made this balisaur hit harder than my stepdad. It, it ended up getting rid of all the play and tap out of it. It made its thigh gap a little bit bigger, which I love. The tolerances on it just got so much better. It started flipping better. Oh, I can't. It like became my number one flipper. It, it made this thing really close, if not maybe just a hair bit better than my version one replicant. That feels a little bonkers to say after like, I don't know, 30 years of having the V1 rep be my favorite battle song. And in that video where I swapped out the blades, I talked about how the only other thing I really wanted to do was maybe get some channel spacers for for, it. for those of you that don't know, the BRS Replicant is a sandwich construction balisong, and they usually have these big block spacers down here. People will go and make aftermarket channel spacers, which will still have the big block, but then it keeps a big line of material, which covers up the sandwich hole. That's a weird combination of words, sandwich hole. And it also usually gets rid of the space that they leave for the latch, which like nobody uses. So people like to cover that up and it gives the balisong a nice clean look. Another perk that I wanted out of the channel spacers was a lot of them come with jimping, which is just like the the one thing that I think replicants are missing. But when I threw this thing together with the hourglass kukri blade, it was like so nice and it flipped so well that I kind of didn't want to mess with it and try and change anything. So I've just kind of left it like this for quite a while already. But it's like guitar playing. Like some people have a lighter touch. Some people have like a really heavy hand like Stevie Ray Vaughan. I think that's the best way to translate how my flipping style is. I would say I have a pretty heavy handed flipping style. I don't really have that like light touch and that like finesse that some flippers have. My flipping style is pretty aggressive. It kind of ends up taking a beating on my balisongs. And I'm starting to notice that these liners are just starting to get just a little bit bent. And it's resulting in my hourglass blade hitting the liners. And that sound kind of makes me want to die inside. Now, hourglass, he does round off the spine of the blade, but on the uh, bite handle side of his trainers, he doesn't really do anything. So it's just like the bite handle side is thicker than the safe handle side, which is a little quirky But uh because of that there's not a whole lot of room between the liners and the blade So when the liners start bending just a little bit the blade will start hitting the liners. So I went back to my original desire of wanting to get channel spacers for this thing in the hopes that the channel spacer will help straighten out these liners a little bit more. So that's my little hypothesis to see if it's gonna work. These liners aren't like crazy bent out of shape. They're just like a little squished in and it's really just like the safe handle. So I don't know why I'm talking about this so much. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in the video. So yeah, why don't we actually get to the point of this video and unbox what I have ordered. We gotta bust out the Medusi for this one. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Dang it. Why do I always do that with these boxes? I think it like pulls out this way, but really it's just... What do we have here? Oh, we got a nice Foxfire Factory sticker. For those of you that don't know, Foxfire Factory is a guy that makes a lot of aftermarket parts, specifically for the BRS replicant. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh my, here they are friends, and I gotta say, they're looking pretty stinky. So as you can see, the channel spacer is designed to be a spacer for one, but also fill in this little gap right here between the liners, which in turn gives it like this channel balisong look. And it also deepens up the sound. Like I really like the way this replicant sounds. It's a really nice sounding battle song, but I think I want to try these channel spacers and see what it does to the sound, see if I like that sound more. Um, another thing is these spacers have some pretty aggressive jimping, which I am very excited to try. Who knows what's going to happen, but we're going to try it out. But before we do that, I think I'm going to get a couple flips and some sound tests with this battle song, how it is now, and then we're going to get a nice up close look at me installing these channel spacers, and then we'll flip this valley with the channel spacers and see what's different and see what's different. All right, you figgity thoughts. I figured for this portion of the video at least, I would bust out this GoPro that I have and never use 
and join the crowd. Be like every other Balasong YouTuber and get some POV flipping clips for this little portion of the video at least. While we flip this replicant before we throw on the channel spacers. See what it's like in its current state. How it flips. How it feels. What it sounds like. And I really like this thing in its current state. But like I mentioned earlier, um, you guys might be able to hear it also. You can see it was right there. Just when it closes, the uh, blade's hitting the liners, and that sound makes my ears bleed. Hopefully the channel spacers can fix that, but uh, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Oh yeah, another thing is, I'm hoping this audio doesn't sound like booty ass. I know audio isn't necessarily GoPro's strong suit, so we're gonna have to wait and see if it is actually usable. It, that This portion of the video just could be a muffled meme, but uh, who knows, we're gonna find out. Just keep doing those same tricks over and over again. It's got a little bit of play. I don't think it's like any visible play. It kind of looks like I'm just doing this probably. And since the liners are bent, there is a tad bit of tap. So let's do a sound test of this replicant in its current state with these spacers. All right, boys, what the fuck? I'm excited to see what all the hubbub is about these channel spacers. I don't want to wait any longer. Let's go install them. Alright boyos, so here she is. We got the channel spacers installed. It widened up the channel a little bit more than I was expecting. I had to loosen up the Zen pins a little bit, but she's all together and uh, so far I quite like the way it flips. Uh, it doesn't flip too different from what it was, which I'm pretty happy with. I am noticing that the handles are maybe just a little bit heavier, but that weight is distributed throughout the handle and not just on the ends. So you don't notice it a whole too much and so far boys, I gotta say, they feel pretty good. As for the sound, I really like the way it sounds. I think I like it more than how it used to sound. Still nutty as all hell. Like it sounds a little more like hollow and it's a little bit of a deeper sound. Like it's still got that real sharp, like it almost sounds like a zipper. Like when you're doing the sound test, it has that. But when you're flipping it around, you can really hear that hollowness to it. And I really like that. got weird.
Jeez. So yeah, if you can't tell, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this thing. I am quite enjoying it's new, oh shit. I'm quite enjoying the new channel spacers. I love that it didn't really change the way this thing flips too, too much. Um, like it is different, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's just the difference really isn't that crazy, which I'm pretty happy with. From flipping it right here for a few minutes, it appears that my hypothesis was correct and the blade doesn't seem to be hitting the inside of the liners anymore, which I am quite stoked on. One thing I am just a little disappointed with is uh, I can't really feel the jimping. <laughs> like I never really had a problem with choker fans or ladders or tricks like that where the ends of the handles are really used. I never really had problems with those on this battle song in the first place. Um, I just thought I would actually like be able to feel the jimping, but uh, it just sits real deep inside and uh, can't really, like you can't feel it a little bit. It's just my fingers don't really dig in there as much. I know Fox Fire Factory makes uh, liners that also have the jimping, so it matches real nice. And then you could probably get some G10 scales with jimping as well, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. The hell? Oh, that was really freaky. I was like a pink ghost just walked by. But anyway, I'm having quite a bit of fun with this thing. I'm pretty stoked on it. Shout out to Fox Fire Factory for making these awesome liners. Um, and all his other cool stuff. I the, I couldn't decide which to get for the longest time. Yeah, I didn't know if I wanted to get the uh, thick kit. I didn't know if I wanted to get the full spacers. Um, and yeah, I just decided on the channel spacers. And I'm pretty happy with it, boys. Um, really, all I think I'd want to do to this Balasong now is maybe re-anodize the titanium. And they are like grade 5 titanium spacers, so they should take anodization really dang well. But yeah, everything is still... Feels good on this battle song. Nothing feels like wonky or weird now because of these channel spacers. It's all feeling pretty dang good, boys. So I'm pretty stoked on this. I think the only thing that's left to do for this video is to throw some KPL Heavy into these pivots to see what it sounds like oiled up with these new channel spacers. Let's get some of this thick juice up in there. So, uh, swapping them out did make it pretty dry sounding. Shout out to KPL. They are the sponsor of today's video. Ooh, that deepened it up real good. Oh my goodness. That just perfected the way this thing sounds, in my opinion. I love that like heavier oils can just really completely change the way a ballast song sounds and make it sound like insane. I was kind of nervous that these spacers wouldn't fit because this is a pretty aftermarket replicant. And uh, Foxfire does reiterate that like, it's made for stock reps mostly. So it's not really guaranteed to work with every aftermarket replicant blade or liners or hardware, stuff like that. So I was a little nervous about that, but they ended up fitting with just a little bit of adjustment to the Zen pins. Okay, I was flipping for so long that uh, my GoPro died. So that doesn't tell you how much I like this new thing with the channel spacers in it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I am quite enjoying the way this thing flips. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this thing. Huge shout out to Foxfire Factory. Huge shout out to KPL for sponsoring today's video. Once again, for those of you that don't know, if you guys want to get yourself some KPL products, make your ballast songs sound nice and beautiful and keep them well oiled, then you can head on over to KPL's website by clicking the link that I have in the bio of this video as well as pinned in the comment section. You click that link, it'll take you to KPL's website, get anything your heart desires, and then when you go over to check out, use code DENDENBMX. If you use my link and use my code, you will get a discount and I will also get some kickback from your purchase. So uh, it sounds it sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. I, I don't know what else to tell you, boys. But yeah, huge shout out to KPL for sponsoring today's video and for making this battle song sound just the best. Like, this is the nicest sounding rep I think I have now. I just, oh, I love the way this thing sounds. So yeah, huge shout out to KPL. I can't thank those guys enough for all the support. A huge thank you to Foxfire Factory as well, again, for making these spacers and for making all the awesome products that he makes. Yeah, make sure you go follow both KPL and Foxfire Factory on Instagram. Make sure you're following me on Instagram too. It's uh, Den Den BMX, you know, hey. Before we go, I just want to give a big shout out to Modern Ballast Song, Cosmic Steez, my best friend Luke, <laughs> a horse running, and Yannick. Yannick is back. 
These are the current channel members. I cannot thank these guys enough for all the support. It really does mean a lot. If you guys want to join them and help support the channel in a bigger way and get a shout out in my videos as well as get access to the occasional members only video, you can go ahead and go down there and join the channel membership. Tier start as low as three bucks. But if that is too much of a commitment, I get it. If you still want to support the channel monetarily, but just as like a one-time thing, there is that super thanks button down there. It's kind of like a little tip jar. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I'm really dang happy with how my replicant turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know and help the engagement on this video by leaving a like, leaving a comment, giving me your thoughts and opinions, sharing the video around, making sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Every time someone watches my channel regularly and they don't subscribe, a small little newborn puppy dies of chlamydia. And it sounds like an avoidable problem. So if I was the one causing that issue, uh, like you are, Mr. I watch Den Den BMX regularly and haven't subscribed, I'd go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 17K and we are about a quarter of the way there. I also just wanna thank you guys for all the support you've given on all my recent videos. It truly does mean a lot, whether it's ballad songs, BMX, guitar, you guys always show the love and uh, I am forever grateful. Don't you think for one second I'm not. But I'm done being a tool. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.